Hey guys, it's Castro72, and I'm back with another video. And I was gonna do my 200 subs video, but uh, something came up. I got tagged by Vidium again. And this time, uh, the topic is video game weirdness. Um, and it involves five questions. Uh, basically, I guess I just have to answer them. Uh, and uh, that's it. So let's just begin. Uh, question number one. What is the strangest place you've played video games? And unfortunately, my answer to that isn't all that exotic, but I guess the strangest place I've ever played video games is at work, um, in our break room. Uh, we have a TV there. Um, it's not a bad TV. It's like a 42-inch LCD. Um, and uh, I usually bring my PlayStation 2, and we play a lot of fighting games, you know. We play... Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Capcom vs. SNK 2, Tekken Tag, things like that, and it gets pretty rowdy in there. And uh, that's probably the strangest place I play video games, because really we're not, you know, we're just supposed to watch TV in there, go on our break, and then go back out to the sales floor. Because I work at Target, by the way, it's like retail. Um, and sometimes we'll stay after work, when everybody's off, just to play video games. It's kind of cool. Uh, but that is the strangest place I've played video games. Not all too strange, but um, a little odd, I guess. Uh, second question. What is the longest time you have attempted to repair a computer or a console? And the answer to that is I haven't. You know what, guys? I, I like video games and all that. But I am not tech savvy. I do not know crap like about really fixing anything, um, especially not computers, not at all. But um, I think the the longest I've ever like tried to fix uh, a video game related item would probably be uh, I don't know going on several years actually. It's this, uh, it's this uh, NES cartridge called Stunt Kids. Now, I've got like hundreds, I mean literally hundreds of NES games that I got from thrift stores. And I've pretty much had, I'd like to say, a 100% um, success rate at making them work. But I can't because of this particular game. This game, I cannot get to work for the life of me. And every month... Uh, I've all you know. I always try to make it come back to life, and I've had this game for several years. So it's been years that I've tried to make something work. I mean, I tried rubbing alcohol. Uh, I tried like a little pencil eraser down there, and just try to just clean it out. It doesn't do anything. It's got a little, I think, a little rattle in it. Well, it's, now it's not rattling, but um, I don't know what it is. I just can't make it work. It's stunt kids. I mean, it's a rarity six valued at fifteen dollars. It's kind of rare. I don't want to, you know, give it up because I can't make it work. But this is what's keeping me from one hundred percent success rate. Stunt Kids by Comerica. Anyway, it's uh, that's the longest I've tried to repair something, at least video game related. The third thing, uh, have uh, the third question: Have you ever had nightmares about a video game? And uh, the answer is no. I've never had nightmares about a video game. I guess the, the question is supposedly posed towards people who play a lot of like survival horror games. But I've never had a, a nightmare about that. But um, again, I'm going to twist the question a little bit for, for myself. Uh, but there have been times when uh, I couldn't sleep because I was missing part of my collection. Or I misplaced it. And uh, I'm pretty particular about my collection and when something's missing I kinda go nuts like I go like real anal I'm like I wonder where I put it and I have um I have this system it's called an FC twin it's basically an NES and Super NES clone one time um, I, I I don't know I had misplaced this system I I was like thinking about where the heck did I have it I had this which is the box but I couldn't find it anywhere I was like I cannot remember where I put it. And this isn't even an official system. It's like a Taiwanese clone. But because it's part of my collection, I just went nuts. I was like, I can't sleep. I can't find it. I don't know where it is. Tore my house apart. It turns out I put it out in a duffel bag. And uh, it was in the trunk of my car. And I remember, because I was bringing it to work so I could show my uh, co-workers. 
and I totally forgot about it that I actually had it in my car and um, that was keeping me awake at night so no nightmares about video games but you know sometimes things little situations like that involving video games keep me awake the fourth question is have you ever played a game that was too scary to play and really the answer is no but again I'm gonna twist it again uh, then this is kind of scary but I have a Wii game called Action Girls Racing alright yes this is a real Wii video game this is not like a Photoshop cover or anything like this it's called Action Girls Racing and I played this game for a whole friggin hour one time and I cannot convey to you how god awful this game is in fact you know when I went to the KB Toys to uh, to purchase this game, uh, I remember lying to the cashier saying, "Oh, it's for my niece." You know, oh my god! But I was really buying it for my own collection because I was curious. I was like, "Oh, I wonder what this game is about." It's incre it looks horrible. I mean, look at these guys. These look like Bratz rejects. And the title, "Action Girls Racing," you know how generic that is. You could take any three of these words. Switch them around and it basically means the same thing. You could say racing girls action, girls racing action, racing action girls. It's all the same thing. But the thing is, the gameplay is so bad. And I don't know why. The scary thing is I kept playing it for over an hour. And it's like a bad, bad Mario clone. I, I can't show you the screenshots. But it's just these little Bratz doll things, like, driving around in carts. And it's awful. I mean, like, I, I drove into a wall then drove up the wall and got stuck in the wall. It's that bad. The coding is horrible. This is like the worst. And it's a four player game. I hope to one day get four of my buddies and four of us playing this game. They're gonna be like, this is bullshit. This is horrible. You know, now so, yeah, that's scary, okay? <laughs> that's the scariest video game I've ever played. And number five, did you stop playing it? No, I didn't stop playing uh, Action Girls Racing. I mean, uh, eventually I did. I did. I did it for a whole hour. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty scary. Anyway, those are the five questions. And I uh, just wanted to respond to Vidium. Thanks for tagging me, man. You rock. And uh, soon I will have a 200 subs video coming up. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm, I'm trying to compile things together and make something. But anyway, I just wanted to do this quick response to Vidium. Thanks a lot for tagging me, man. You rock. Happy gaming.